Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. This episode, what we're gonna be doing is putting in the new headlights that we just got in and removing some of this old wiring, testing out what we need to do to get uh, the headlights working again. They were not working when we started um, and went over the car in the first video. There's some wiring that seems melted. Some of it just pulled apart. Um, if you like what we're doing, please like, subscribe, turn the post notifications on. Uh, we're trying to keep our $500 Mustang under $2,500 salvage rebuild. So far we haven't had any um, hidden damage, but still got some rebuild to go. All right, so what I have done is taken out where the headlight mounts, which is here, there, there. I've taken the bolts out and the old ones. You can see we've got our washer fluid reservoir in filled. It's working. Uh, if you don't follow the Instagram, do. You'll get updates before the videos come out. Uh, we got the crash bar in. We have our condenser and radiator in. And it looks like we need to fill it up with a little bit more fluid since the air came out as we uh, were running it before. And then the last item um, that we just got in is this uh, rubber isolator. You see that's holding in um, the radiator here. That came off um, in the accident. Um, but when I was talking about some of the wiring, what you'll see is there's this wire here. That's the power that goes straight to the battery. Um, what that person should have done is actually mount it right here to where the relays and fuse boxes. Um, we've just got random wires hanging here. Um, I believe that this is our front headlight one, this part that I'm holding here. This is the power for the other one. As you can see, this just kind of came apart and this is what I was talking about that looks melted with an inline fuse there. Um, when I was looking at it, actually one, I don't know where it is. Oh yeah, this the wire just, yep, up. Oh, now the rest of it has come out. So we don't really know what that's from and Somebody did such an excellent wiring job that they took this, routed it over this one radiator hose. Um, underneath, it comes up right here. And then there's this other thing here. So we're gonna take all that out. Um, be nice to have the uh, high intensity bulbs, but it looks like uh, this system's just worn, it's melted. It could cause an electrical problem. We're gonna wanna take that out. Um, and from what I've done some research on these plug and play kits, uh, you're not supposed to do this. You're actually supposed to take the wiring, wire it around with the factory harness through here to here. Um, that's where you're gonna get the bulbs that are here and, and there's our one uh, headlight bulb there and you're actually supposed to mount these like over here uh, the um, uh, I, I don't know what these are called but uh, we're gonna take all that out put the new headlights in and uh, see where we start struggling with a couple of push pins here. There's one there. There's one in the back. I don't know if we can see it. Uh, there. Just behind the tire. And then there's two up here. I have one in. Now I'm gonna get the other one in. They're a little bit tricky, but um, You can see that we've got them in. We've got the lights in, they're working. Um, working on painting the bumper that needs a little bit more work. Um, 
And then we've got some little spots like right here that'll need some touch up. Right there that'll need some touch up. We need to get the hood scoop back on and everything, but um, it's coming along well. Well, everyone, that does it for this video. We got the front headlights in, tested they were working, took all that old electrical out that really wasn't done right, even though it was a seemed like a plug and play DIY um, upgrade kit. Uh, we got the inner fender on. Uh, next up, get the bumper test fitted, get the rest of the lights working, including the turn signals. Then, um, in the future, we'll get the uh, all this tape and just leftover remnants of the uh, racing stripe off. We'll get the hood scoop painted back on the car. Same with the spoiler. And that'll about do it for this wrap. Hopefully we don't find anything unforeseen. So far, it looks like we're right on target for our budget salvage build. Stay tuned for our next video.